everybody. We are here today inside the Golden Local Studio, and we are visiting with Diana and Ross Weber from the Long Island Tutoring Company, aka Litco. How are you guys today? Hi, good to see you. Yeah. Good to you guys again. I'm glad to have you guys back. We are too. Now, they are brother and sister. So my first question for them is, how is it running a business with the two of you as brother and sister? He is my best friend, my soulmate, best friend. Are you lying? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've been roommates a million times, and yeah, I couldn't ask for a better coworker. No fights, no fights, Never. whatsoever. Never. Knock out that wood, people. On, but although, what? although, what? there's more. Uh, I do remember Here. hearing a story that you found out you were having a baby brother. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's coming back. You right? have to name that doll Ross I... and throw it down. The I can't. <laughs> threw fake Ross down the stairs before he was born. Intention. <laughs> and I believe it wasn't just once, uh, but that's okay. But you know, look now. But before she met you. It was before. The before doll is dead, but Ross is here and alive and doing good. It's there. It was just a name. Yeah. 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 And so He's you guys like, working together, it's easy for you. Oh, it's so much fun. Oh, okay. Cool. So how did this get started? What got you guys to say, hey, let's start a tutoring company? Yeah, well, let me ask you a question. Okay. In your academic career. Were there any teachers or how many teachers or professors really impacted you and you know I have to say that's a really good question, number one. That's a great question. I I would say on top of my head there are probably one or two that really made an impact that actually helped me through my school, made me want to go and that kind of stuff. So when we had this conversation, and we agree, it's you yeah. can count it on one hand. Yeah. And I've asked a bunch of friends and family and they agree. And it's the ratio of how many teachers you have to how many actually made an impact. It's a low number. Like and in high school, you have 30 people usually, 30, like 30 teachers throughout the entire time, right? Right. And one or two make an impact. Correct. So we felt that we wanted to have a tutoring company that you get that type of experience where you have a tutor that's empathetic and sensitive, but also knows what they're talking about and have a way to express it uh, to a demographic that sometimes is a little disconnected yeah. from other different types of tutors and teachers and professors. So everyone has their own different learning style and teaching style. And we're trying to get the best and fit a potential student with someone who has a great personality and get them to where their academic goals are. So that's basically what you're offering is the best teacher you could ask for individually for your student or for your, your kid if you're the parent doing this with you. Absolutely. Exactly. That is huge. I wish I had children right now because I'd actually be thankful <laughs> to have a good education because of this reason. So let me ask you, with your tutoring, now you guys cover a lot of subjects, right? A little bit of everything? Yeah, we go from elementary straight through even college classes. Loved in college. Yeah, college, college essays. Thing. Yeah. College essays. SATs and ACTs are really where was the root of our business. Right. And we've been expanding to all these different age groups and subjects. It's been really great time and getting to know a lot of people in the community. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, right? Yeah. It's, it's been a lot of fun and the results have been even better. In the end, that's what's most important. Yep. Uh, and, you know, the results have been there and a lot of that is because of her. I couldn't be more proud. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't throw you down the stack. Yeah, well, thankfully, it was just a doll. It would be gay. Thank you. So I want to ask you, with um, the tutoring that you guys do, now I know you do SATs, ACTs, and that kind of stuff, how often do you guys think you keep your students for? Like, do you get a student for like, like a week or two, or is it more like a long time and the student? What's your average turnover, let's say, for your students? Sure. So I've had, across the board, I've had students who have come, you know, in a panic three weeks before the SAT, like, oh my God, Help I me. haven't looked at anything. Um, I've had students that I've worked with from seventh grade through college. Wow. Where they've come for help in English, then they need chemistry with our chemistry tutor, math. And then they contact me, you know, they're a sophomore in college and I have a Shakespeare paper. What do I do? Help me. Yes. <laughs> so it depends on the students. Two weeks, five months, right? Five whatever they need. And now where do you guys do your tutoring? Like, is it a remote thing? Is it in a library? Is it somebody's house? Where do you actually go do the tutoring? We offer a major aspect of our service is the flexibility. Good. So we could do Zoom, we could do in-person local libraries, and the time as well. We've worked with students as early as seven in the morning, oh. as early, as late, I'm sorry, as midnight. 11 o'clock at night, midnight. Do you enjoy those students? The night so I just... love middle of the night. I love it. So midnight classes, I'm all in. That's love huge it. too, because I know a lot of kids, obviously they think tutoring four to six o'clock or after school, whatever right. it is. But you guys take that and you say, no, we do it over it works for you. Yeah. You make sure the student gets the best attention that works for them and their families as well. These high school students, they have athletics, they have 
social demands. Yeah. They have their own academics within high school, then college prep and all these things. And we're just trying to make it as simple for them and the parents. Yeah. Uh, it's a very overwhelming time. Yeah. And we just want to simplify that process and make it enjoyable along the way. Yep. Right. How do you guys scout your tutors? What's your what's your vetting process for your tutors that you hire to help you? Uh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of like what you were saying. Like, I've interviewed tutors where it's like they know exactly what they're talking about, but it's like they're not fun. Yeah, they're not. You know, you're, not like, you're like, this is great, but it's like, let's do the person talking this on the blackboard. This is what you're doing now. Right. Yes. And I've had the opposite where I'm like, oh my God, this person's so cool, but like, you don't they're know you're not shit. a master. <laughs> 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 like what you said, we're looking for that blend. So we do intense interviews. We have very high standards for our tutors. Good. Um, but we get that blend of like, they're really cool. They can relate to young teenagers. Um, stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They'll get your scores up. So. Yeah. And another inspiration is I always knew she was great. Yeah. With the experience and the word of mouth that you've been getting. But before going into the business, I wanted to know how good are you? Yeah, vet me out. <laughs> so you vetted her. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. How'd that go? Uh, it was, it blew my mind. And that's the reason we're here now. How'd you do it? What was the process? I took a diagnostic exam, which we do offer to our students. So we know where they start right. and where they're going to end up. And we don't have to waste time on things they already know. So I did a diagnostic. I'm not going to say how long ago I was in high school. <laughs> but uh, there's dust on those. Uh, <laughs> so I... Took the test, okay. Took two to three lessons of Diana, about an hour each. Took a, another diagnostic and went up over 110 points. Stop it. So she kicked it. She, kicked it. she did a I great job. Yeah. It's really grammar rules. I mean, I haven't heard these wow. since I mean, 15, when I was 15, yeah. 16. So uh, that was so impressive to me. And Thank uh, you. So you said, it's fine, screw it. We'll do a, a company. Let's, let's start doing yeah. company. I trust you now. You got me smarter. Let's do this. Yeah, it was proof of concept. So what other students have you had that you have realized that you made a huge impact on that really made you say, I am so freaking glad we started this company? Yeah, I had one actually recent. We had one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that it was an elementary school student and moved here uh, within the last couple of months okay. and came in and was bullied at the new school. No. Counting on her hands and... It was just the mother came cr crying on the phone and it was such a we had such a connection yeah and we really just wanted to help the best we could and fast forward they've been working with us for a couple of months now the daughter is smiling she's passing her grade she has a group of friends now she's no longer counting on her fingers happy to go to school now happy to go to school yeah. I mean, her mother sent us a christmas card and she's like you're a part of the family now and we're like we're you're a part, part of ours, ours. <laughs> <laughs> yes so, uh, yeah. that's a friend yeah. Mm -hmm. What a great service you guys are offering. Not only are you giving people a safe space to feel better and to learn, but you're also giving them a community that they can be a part yeah. of, which is huge, especially if you just moved here, you're being bullied. What a great thing you guys are doing. Now, Diana, yeah, I know that you specialize in SAT stuff. I sure do. I heard you have some tips. I do. Do you want to before see? Before we get there, yes. But how's SAT change, though, just before we get there? SAT has changed, I heard. Right? I want to know about this before we go into this. I want to know sure. what's different SAT. Okay, so it's going digital. No more paper, no more pens. In America, it'll happen next spring. Okay. Internationally, it's happening this spring. Oh. But we have co uh, colleagues overseas, so we have the inside scoop. So we're going to know everything about the digital SAT. So by the time our students here take it, we're pros. And you're ahead of the game. You're so ahead of the game. You heard it here first, folks. Make sure you get to these guys first. They're going to know everything everybody else does, okay? <laughs> All right. So who is going to be your test subject today these questions? I have to do this? Yes. Tell us. This, this have is fun. Lovely. All right. I have no shame. Let's do this. What do we got, Diana? Show me what we're doing. Okay. So the SAT grammar, there's a lot of tips and tricks where if you memorize them, it's like you could get a really good score just by knowing these little tips. Okay. So you ready? I'm ready. Okay. This, <laughs> okay. this question right here. All right. It asks you how to combine sentences. Okay. Anytime you see that, any answer choice that has the word and, okay. always wrong. Oh. So, what three can you cross out? These three down here. And what's the answer? Some are following. So, this is show you guys on the screen here. The question says, which choice most effectively combines the two sentences at the underlined portion? Now, Diana, your tip again was? 
Get rid of any that have the word and. Yep. So okay. these three down here all have and. Sayonara. I don't even know this, but I got this right. Point for me. Yeah. Oh, thank you. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> Try now. This yes, please. I'm excited yeah. now. It's going to be scary in the beginning. Uh, okay. Okay. Anytime you see the word such as. Okay. And there's a punctuation mark after it. Okay. Any punctuation mark. Okay. Comma, semicolon, whatever. Okay. Anything. Thank you. I know this was. <laughs> Cross it out right away. Okay. So boom, boom, boom. What's the answer? No change. You're on right. the road. So again, such as. These are not the right answers. Can I take my seats over again right now? Really? Because I feel like I would kick this thing's you, butt. You really would. Where were you a long, long time ago? <laughs> right. I didn't do the math. And I'm like, not, not doing that. Ready for one I'm more? I'm ready for one more. All right. Any answer choice that is only one word? Okay. Almost always right. Almost always right. Yes. Okay, so I would go with itself with a comma? It is. Okay, so You're again, three for three. Right. So if there's just one word, it's almost always right. Exactly. When would it not be right? Do we know that answer? I want to do this test again and get them all right from now on. There are exceptions to the rule. Right. Which you uh, learn at the Lit Co. So you need to go to them and find out the rest of this. But this is amazing. So these are just three things, three small little tips that you share with us today. This is just... A 1% of what you guys offer at Litco, correct? Exactly. This is amazing. And of course, if you were my student, I'd explain why, yes. the reasoning behind it, so you could apply it to the questions that do have an exception to the rule. Oh my God. But do you guys do like prep class and stuff for SATs by any chance? Like, do you guys do? So before every SAT, we do a prep class that has an hour of English and an hour of, ma an hour of math. So okay. it's great for people who whether never have taken the test and just want a little overview yeah. or some who have been prepping and just want a little bit of a blast and just refresh my memory. So it works for both. That's types freaking of... fantastic. And what's great is these actually translate to the digital SAT. Oh, yeah. So this is all going to still be happening even when the next year it all changes. Right, because grammar, fundamentally like, grammar. Yeah, it's not going to change. Right, so whatever the... that is, that will work. All right, so I have to give it to you guys right now because you told me you test me. I was like, what are you doing to me? And now I feel like I'm going to change everybody's life. Be like, did you know this on the SATs? Did you know this? All right, so I want to thank you both for being here today. You guys were both fantastic. Oh, I hope you. that everybody understands how important these two are to our children's education. You need them. Remember that one teacher you all had? This is your one teacher for all of your <laughs> students. All right, where can we find you guys online? Yeah, Yo, you can find us at the Long Island Tutoring Company .com okay. and all our socials, which are the same. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. 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 Oh, do you do these on TikTok? Do these kind of things? It's coming. It's coming. It's on the oh. way. And one Get last ready. thing, I want to give you that big credit. You've been in business less than one year, right? Mm -hmm. You are doing fantastic. I see you everywhere. You guys are doing such a great job. Keep up the good work, all right? Make sure to check them out on Instagram. Go to their websites and all your friends with kids. Tell the parents, tell everybody, Litco, 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 all right? <laughs> Thank you guys for being here today. High Thank five. It was a pleasure. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you guys next next time. Thank you. Hey, make sure to follow our social media at Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Going Local TV. And if you have any information for us or want to be a part of our show, email us at info at goinglocal.tv.